Hello friends and welcome to Techie Jack. In this video series, we will be learning about Microsoft Exchange Server 2016. We will be checking with the requirement of Exchange Server 2016 and we will see how to install Exchange Server 2016. We will also see the mobile access configuration, mail flow configuration, how to manage Exchange Server, how to install certificates and many other things. So please subscribe the channel for more coming update videos. So let's see what is Exchange Server. Exchange Server is a uh, Microsoft system used for uh, communication purpose. Uh, you can say it's a secure way to send and receive emails outside and inside the organization. It also reduces the cost of communication and enhance and increase the productivity of the organization. That means you can send and receive your emails quickly and in a more secure way. Let's see the Exchange Server requirement. You should have a 64-bit architecture for your hardware and the operating system you can use Server 2012, Server 2012 R2 and 2016. But they should also have a 64-bit operating system. The minimum recommended RAM by the Microsoft is 8 gigabyte. But if you want to try and install it on a 5 or 4 gigabit, you may try and you can install it on uh, 4 to 5 gigabyte as well. And the main dependency of the Exchange Server is on an Active Directory and DNS. Where there is an Active Directory, there is a DNS. And Exchange Server cannot work without Active Directory and DNS. So these are the requirements for the Exchange Server. Let's see what is our scenario. I have a two physical server that is server-01 and server-02. I have installed Active Directory on server-01 that is our root domain and the domain name is techiejack.com and server-2 is joined as a member server with techiejack.com. The IP address of my Active Directory domain server is 192.168.2.4 default subnet mask and gateway is 192.168.2.1 and it's pointing to itself as a DNS server that is 192.168.2.4 and the IP of my another physical server is 192.168.2.8 inside this server I have a virtual machine named by exchange and the IP address of the exchange is 2.12 and inside the server 2 I have a Hyper-V install and another virtual machine by the name of client is there and the IP address of the client is 2.20 and the DNS of exchange server is pointing to Active Directory server all the DNS are pointing to the techiejack.com so let's go to the server and see the process of installation now we are on a server and let's see the configuration and IP address for the server this is server 01 that means if I right click on this this is server-01 and it's a root domain and see let's see the IP address of this this is configured IP on server that is 192.168.2.4 pointing to its DNS server the machine has total 16 GB of RAM and let me check with the DNS settings with NSLOOKUP it's pointing to techiejack.com let me check like IP to name resolution yes the DNS is fine and I have a Hyper-V installed here and the machine inside is exchange if I connect this one let me maximize it okay let's see the computer name 
computer name is exchange and I have given it a 8.79 GB of RAM and we will be installing exchange on this server let's see the IP address of our exchange server see the IP address is 192.168.2.12 and it's pointing to a DNS server that is 2.4 right now it's not joined as a member server let me join this machine as a member server with the techiejack.com okay let's type the name of the domain I have already installed the Active Directory. If you don't know how to install Active Directory, you can search for other videos of mine and you will find how to install Active Directory. Administrator and password for the administrator. Okay, it says welcome to techiejack.com domain. Now this machine has been joined as a domain. let me restart it now now the computer has been restarted and I will log in with the administrator of a domain like techiejack domain administrator and the password for the administrator So before proceeding with the installation we have to check with few components and let's see what are those components. I suggest you to go for in a search with a pre-request of exchange and that's what I'm doing here uh, for Internet Explorer. It will make some annoying thing to us. So what I will do I will disable the enhanced security it is on I will turn it off so that it will not pop up us again and again okay use the recommended settings okay I have to close it first let me close it and try to open it again let's go with Google and here you can type exchange server 2016 pre-requests and make sure to follow the Microsoft link not the other link though uh, this one is also a good one but I suggest you to go with the Microsoft link here you can just select the 2016 and here you have a pre-request for exchange server 2016 and we are installing it on Windows Server 2016 so we have to look for Windows Server 2016 pre-request for exchange 2016 that means our Windows Server is 2016 and we are installing exchange server 2016 on Windows Server 2016 so we have to follow these pre-requests that means if you want to install a mailbox server on Windows Server 2016 you have to follow these steps and we have to install .NET framework Microsoft knowledge base article this is the article and we have to install C++ redistributable package for Windows Studio 2012 and 2013 and also we have to install Microsoft Unified Communication Manage API 4.0 code runtime so I have already downloaded it and once we have installed all this requirement then we can just copy this PowerShell command and we will run this PowerShell command and our all the pre-requests will be done and after that we will install our exchange server 2016 
so in our next video we will be installing all these pre requests and we'll be proceeding with the exchange server installation so guys be with me and let's meet in a next video